Dan, have they found anything? Not yet, Anita and Mike, but there have been plenty of people out looking for her. It's been a busy day for Coquitlam Search and Rescue, who are down here near the Fraser River, checking for any sign of Nurla Sharma, as well as checking green spaces and any woods for any sign of her. Now, uh, her son and daughter were also busy today putting up more posters. They were talking with business owners and putting them in shops in and around Queensboro to make sure that as many people as possible see her face and keep an eye out for her. New Westminster Police do say they have surveillance footage of someone who matches the description of Nirla Sharma, but they still can't confirm whether or not it is her. Her children say they have been inundated with requests for people wanting to help her complete strangers as well, and they're heartened by that. Take a listen. Lots of people reach out to help, it was all nice, kind people. Like my sister said, everyone's coming to help, printing, everything. It's just wonderful. And Nirla Sharma was last seen on Sunday night at her home on Lawrence Street here in Queensboro near Ewan Avenue around 9 o'clock when she went to bed. She did not show up for work early Monday morning as she normally does. She was last seen wearing pink pajamas and a pink shirt, but maybe in a black hooded jacket and in orange Nike shoes. Now she's South Asian 5'3". She also has several tattoos. You can read more about her description on our website, cbc.ca slash bc. New Westminster Police say the major crime unit is involved in the search for Nirla Sharma because it's so unusual for her to go missing like this. Anita, Mike. All right, Dan Burrett, live tonight, thanks.